back to neighborhood tours. Even though this isn't the prettiest time of year, where is our snow? I am taking you to look around Cottage Grove, Minnesota. Hi, my name is Mary Schumann and I am a realtor in the Twin Cities and I make videos to help people thinking about moving to the Twin Cities make smart decisions about where to live. If you're considering a move and have questions, my contact information is down below in the description box. If you're on a mobile device, just tap the title and it will pop open for you. And while you're in there, take a look at the free downloads that I have available for you. I have a relocation guide with a high level look at the Twin Cities, as well as a deep dive into what the Cottage Grove housing market looks like and what the demographics of Cottage Grove are. You can also drop a comment down below and I'll definitely respond. Okay, the very first thing you'll want to know is where Cottage Grove is. And on this map, you can see that it is on the southeastern side of the metro. I've also indicated on the map where Minneapolis, St. Paul, and the MSP Airport are in relationship to Cottage Grove. And then if you look to the right, you'll see that it butts up against the St. Croix River and Wisconsin. I wanted to show a little bit of the landscape here because Cottage Grove is slightly hillier than the rest of Minnesota because it is close to the river. Cottage Grove is a bedroom community on the southeastern side of the Minneapolis-St. Paul Metro. And by bedroom community, I mean that it's really primarily a residential area. Businesses here are just confined to retail and restaurants that serve this community. Cottage Grove has a real mix of housing. There are older homes, there are townhomes, there are homes built in the early 2000s, and it is growing. So there are a lot of new builds in Cottage Grove as well, primarily on the north and west sides of the city. When you're in the metro area, it can be hard to find a large lot, but there are still some available in Cottage Grove. So you can see, as I show you this street, these are larger lots with sometimes older homes, but actually some new builds on these as well. Three-year trends on median home price for Cottage Grove um, show that it has been consistently above the Twin Cities average for the past little over a year and a half.
in Cottage Grove does have a lot of townhomes and this is the median sales price for townhomes as compared to the Twin Cities as a whole. One last chart like this because I really wanted to show days on market for Cottage Grove. It's only 15, which includes inspection time. So if you have a house on market, an agreement is reached and they have a 10 day inspection period, that sum total is 10 days, not 10 days before contract. So it is a hot market in Cottage Grove right now. Cottage Grove grocery stores include Aldi, Cub, and Hy-Vee. You can check out my video on grocery stores in the Twin Cities area. They also have stores like Target and Walmart. If you want more shopping, you'll need to head just north to Woodbury, which has extensive choices for shopping, including a mall and large shopping centers with a lot of variety, as well as having stores like Costco, Kowalski's, and Whole Foods. Cottage Grove is served by the South Washington County Schools, and Niche.com gives the school district an A- as an overall grade. That's on a roll! There are 18 elementary schools, four middle schools, and three high schools in the district. It ranks number 22 for best school districts in Minnesota. The student-teacher ratio is about 16 to 1, and schools in this district have programs for international baccalaureate, advanced placement, and gifted and talented. The city itself has an extensive park system, which includes an 18-hole golf course, 33 neighborhood parks and 10 trails located within the city, an indoor three-sheet ice arena, paved and natural trail systems, and playgrounds, including Minnesota's largest inclusive play space called Woodridge Park. The real gem near Cottage Grove is Afton State Park right on the St. Croix River. It's got all the things that you'd think of in a state park, trails, camping, picnic areas, etc. And when I was there last, I saw a nesting pair of bald eagles and several pileated woodpeckers, which delight me for some reason, maybe because I grew up with Woody Woodpecker. If you don't want to check out amazing birds that hang around the waterways in Minnesota, you can have some winter outdoor fun at Afton Alps Ski Resort, which has multiple hills and lessons for downhill skiing as well as terrain parks for snowboarders. Thanks for joining me this week and I will see you next week.